Welcome back to the video guys, my name is Everledger and today we are back to the Clash Royale video. Today's video is going to be something that I honestly have never seen on YouTube ever before and I was thinking because I saw it on Fortnite a while back but I've never seen someone do it in Clash Royale. We'll be letting Google Assistant pick our deck today. I'm going to be explaining that in just a minute. Real quick, do have an event over here. I'm not really sure. The Elixir Capture Challenge. I may do a video on that soon if you guys want me to do it. But uh, over here we do have new magical items. So let's go ahead and check this out. I've already used two of them. We have this one right here which is a magic coin instantly upgrades a card without spending your gold let's go ahead and click on that that is actually awesome okay so i think i'm going to upgrade maybe my zap i want to get one of these high level cards archers would be great to have um or we could also hmm, i don't know let's just let's, let's upgrade our musketeer i'm tired of being one shot with fireballs over here actually no i want to get the oh my gosh i need to get one of the level 11s upgraded with this because i want to use the most worth of the coin possible which is going to be my highest upgrades so let's just go and get the um let's go and get the zap upgraded i guess that's the one that i use most out of all of these there we go right there my zap is now level 12 absolutely awesome then we also have the book of cards which instantly adds the cards required for an upgrade level so click that so i can actually get the most required which is going to be my guards right over here and it'll allow me to get this thing ready to upgrade so let's go ahead and use this right here on my executioner because that is my most used card out of all of these go ahead and use that i would have gotten the most worth out of this if i used it on the guards but uh, we're going with executioner because i use it most and that's all we have right there all right, so back into what we're doing for this video today, we're letting Google Assistant pick our cards. So right over here, we have four columns. We're one, two, three, and four. Each one of these columns has 23 cards total in it. So first thing we do is ask Google Assistant to pick a number one through four, and then we're gonna ask it to pick uh, another number. I'm gonna have to do that several times or something like that. So uh, let's just see how that goes. The catch is I cannot get any cards that I'm used to using. So anything in my standard deck, which is right here, I will not be able to grab. And uh, the next time I do it, I'm not going to be able to grab another card from that as well. So uh, let's just go ahead and do this and let's see how this goes. All right, guys, I'm going to have to actually unplug my phone, my freaking headphones from this because it won't actually register me speaking with the headphones in. So let's go ahead and pull up Google Assistant right over here. Swipe up. Pick a number one through four. I don't think it picked it up properly. Two. All right. So we have two right here. So we're only actually we're only going to do stuff from the second column now. So now we're going to have a pick eight numbers between 23. So let's go ahead and uh, speak again. Pick eight numbers between one and 23. First one's going to be five. The next one's going to be 10. So that's two of them. Let me go ahead and write these down somewhere so I actually don't forget them. So we have uh, let me pull up my notes right over here. We have five. We have 10. 17. Five again, which that's going to be weird. I think we can actually do that, though. Pick again, so we have to do four more now. Next one's going to be ten again. Okay, ten again. This is going to be a very weird deck. I actually have no clue what we're going to be getting from this, so we're going to check that in a minute. Last one, we're going to do 21, and we have one more after this. Actually, no, we have two more after this. I can't count. Pick again, and this is going to be our seventh card. Seven, also. Seven. That's awesome. Seven for seven. Last card right over here, what we're going to be getting, and it is going to be number 13. So that's what we have right there. Let me go ahead and plug my freaking phone back in, my headphones. So now I can actually hear my game again. You guys could have heard that entire thing right there. So let's go ahead and go back over here. Let me just close out, and it's going to reload the game. Oh, my gosh. All right, so coming over here, let's go ahead and start making this deck. We're going to come all the way. Okay, actually, there's a catch to this. Okay, let me come and copy this over here and paste that. Okay, there we go. So now I can do this properly. So first one is going to be five. We're on the second column. So one, two, three, four, and then five. First one's going to be the Royal Delivery. Next thing is going to be number 10. Number 10 is going to be the Bomb Tower. I will take that. Next thing is going to be number 17. And since there's 23 cards in this, I'm actually just going to go from the bottom and just go up four, uh, which is going to be the Princess. That's actually going to be awesome right there. Next thing is going to be number five once again. So one, two, three, four, and five. We have the Skeleton Dragons underleveled right there. This deck's going to suck. Once again, we have number 10, so let's go ahead and do that. So right over here, we have five right there at the mortar, and then go down to number six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 is going to be the goblin cage. This deck is actually going to suck, but we're gonna we're gonna rock with it anyways. Go all the way to the bottom for number 21, which is gonna be the next one, and that's going to be the fisherman, which is that, okay, this is really gonna suck. Number seven is gonna be the next one, and this is, I didn't even pick enough cards, did I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if I picked enough cards or not, but uh, I think we're missing one. I don't know. Maybe I just can't pick properly. I'm not sure. Okay, never, I don't know. I don't. I really don't know at this point. 
The next card is going to be the Heal Spirit, though. That's going to be the number seven. Uh, we did skip one somehow. I'm not sure exactly what we did, but we have to give it number 13 now. So that's five right there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and 13. We're going to have the mirror. And then lastly, we have something. I'm not sure what it is, uh, but we're just going to go with number 10 again, I guess, because, um, yeah, I have no freaking clue what I skipped. But I skipped something, and I have no clue what it is. So 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 for the healer. That's the deck we have right there. This is going to suck. We're going to hop into a game right now, though, and see how completely awful this deck is going to work, because I really don't think it's going to do any good right here. But we have Nicholas G from Team of Pro 5. I love this new layout. It looks absolutely insane. Go ahead and go with the princess right there to start the video off. And uh, we have to go with the baby dragon. Our skeleton dragon right there. Fisherman right there. Can we uh, please get s pull, pull that Valkyrie, please? Don't let it get any damage on that tower, please. All right, nice. We're doing pretty good. Uh, this is going to be the royal delivery. I actually don't... I've never used the royal delivery. Really? A rocket? A rocket? Okay, he placed a rocket, apparently, which is good for you, I guess. We got one... Oh, it doesn't damage whenever it hits the hook. That's kind of weird, but uh, it is what it is. All right, so we have the bomb tower placed right there. The next thing we're going to do, I think, is going to be with the battle healer. I'm not sure. This deck is really bad. All we can really do is chip damage, but uh, we're going to do what we can. Go to the princess right there, and uh, let's just see what happens. I guess they're going to play something. Okay, bomb tower right there. I'm fine with that. Go ahead and do what you got to do, buddy. And uh, we should be getting a good bit of damage. One more shot. Nope, not going to get any more shots. That battle healer is going to completely get completely destroyed, I feel like. But uh, let's see what happens. Okay, maybe not. Let's go with the skeleton dragons in the back. We are winning right now, but I, I don't see how we're going to win with this deck. I really don't. We have no actual push. We have nothing to push with on this deck. But, um, you know, we, we can try. That's the best thing we do. Try. Bump tower, come on. Yes. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. That actually works great. Countered that push pretty freaking good. And uh, let's go with the battle healer with that uh, with that freaking fisherman. And then we'll go with the princess on the right side. And, of course, he places that. So, yeah, this is not working too great for me right now. He logged the princess as well. Rest in peace, Rest in peace princess. Now we got to defend this. So we should be getting the wall, the, the wall breakers and the miner coming soon. I'm already expecting to see that come. Yep, here they come over here. Let's just go ahead and do royal delivery right there. And why does it take so long? Oh my gosh, that takes so freaking long. I've never used the car before, so I didn't know that. I thought it'd be fast, like a fireball. That was not fast at all. That was the longest thing I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely, I do not want to use that card ever again. Never, never again. That sucked. That, that's, that sucked completely. That was the worst rocket I've ever seen as well. But uh, let's just go ahead and place that right there. Skeleton dragons right there. And let's just go ahead and place the royal delivery and see if we can time that. They're going to move over there. So I, I really don't know at this point. Go ahead and do the battle healer right there. Go ahead and do the fisherman on the left side as well. And we should be going with a princess right here as well. This is a pretty decent push. Go ahead and do a heal spirit. Hopefully we can heal all of us up right there. Come on, buddy. We got to get something. We have to get some type of damage on that tower. But, um... Did I accidentally get rid? I got rid of the goblin cage. That's what the issue was. I got rid of the goblin cage. The goblin cage would actually be very helpful right now. But I definitely think we're going to lose this right here. But, uh, yep, he's going to rocket me out. That sucks. Imagine playing like that, you noob. Go ahead and do battle. Oh, the heal spirit right there. And the heal all of that. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Go ahead and do princess. And uh, let's just go do the fisherman right over there. Come on, can we please get some damage on that tower? Please get some. He's just cycling to his, ro his, to his rocket again. Yep, to the miner, and then that's gonna be game right there. This deck actually sucks. All right, so that was the worst deck I've ever played with, if I'm being completely honest. So we're actually gonna do this differently. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pull up Google on my computer instead this time because that last time was just a mess. So we're just gonna go ahead and tell Google to pick a number one through three. You guys cannot, or one through four. You guys cannot hear this. Pick a number one through four. Uh, it's not even doing it. Uh, pick pick a number one through four. There we go right there. Pick it number one through... Okay, it's still... Google sucks on the computer. All right, so this time we have three, so we're picking from the third one right here. So let's just go ahead and do pick a number one through 23, and uh, let's see what happens like that. Go. We have 12, so come over here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my gosh. Eleven was at the wizard. Um, 11. So we have elixir pump right there. Go ahead and click go one more time. We have nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. We have mini P.E.K.K.A. I will take that. I love the mini P.E.K.K.A. Go and click go one more time. Not one more time. We can do a lot more times. Fourteen. So we have uh, five, which is going to be the Royal Delivery right there. And then uh, six, seven, eight, ten right there. And then thirteen is going to be the Wall Breakers, which is our... Nope, it's supposed to be fourteen. So what was right there? I, I, I don't know. I messed up. I'm just going to go at this right here, though. Come over here. We have 13 now, so I should go all the way back to where I was at. So we have uh, five right there, six, seven, eight. Stop clicking random things. 10, 11, 12, 13 right there for the Goblin Barrel. This this deck is going to be hopefully not as bad as the last one. Go and click go one more time. We have four. Thank God it's a freaking small number. Skeleton Barrel. This deck's going to suck. I'm telling you guys right now, it's going to suck. 23, so go all the way to the bottom. Right over here, we have a lava... What the heck is this? What is, what is this deck right here? 13 once again. So let's just go 10 from the bottom. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 guards. This deck is terrible. This deck is terrible. One more time. We have 22 right over here. What are we going to get right here? The Night Witch. So, okay. This deck could possibly work. It's going to be difficult though. So let's just go and take this to a game right there. Battle now. This deck's going to suck. It's 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 going to... I'm not winning with this. It's definitely something you could win with, but I myself could not win with this. So uh, you're going to have to play with the, through the Lava Hound and try to get the Skeleton Barrel and Barbarian Barrel onto the tower. Who knows? We may have just found a meta. I'm not sure. But uh, let's start off right here with the Goblin Barrel and the Lava Hound and see what happens. Not sure what's going to happen, but... Uh, I personally don't see how this is going to work very well, but, you know, it could very well work pretty decently. I'm just not sure. I don't see it. We have, like, no air defense, which is going to completely suck, but, um, you know, we can't give up, guys. We gotta, we gotta push through. Yep, it's game over right there. I can't do anything about that. Nothing at all that I can do about that right there. I don't know. We lost. We definitely lost. He already took a tower because I have no defense. The only defense I have is a Night Witch, and it's the last card in my rotation. Literally, the last card in my entire rotation... What the crap am I supposed to do about that? Absolutely nothing. Do not do this challenge. We're going to have to play a freaking defensive elixir collector just to distract that balloon. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And it's sad that I actually just said that. It's sad that those words just came out of my mouth. A defensive elixir collector. Okay, the left tower is gone. We are back on a level playing field right now, which is awesome. The issue is there's nothing I can do. The issue is there's nothing I can do about that right there. Nothing at all that I can do about that. Come on, where's the bats at? Spawn the bats! This sucks! Absolutely terrible! I can't even get a counter push going up right now because there's nothing I can do. Alright, we're gonna go ahead Lava Hound, Wall Breakers right there, and let's see if we can get a Goblin Barrel down right there. There's no way we're winning because I can't defend if he pushes one more time with that balloon. No way at all. No way at all that we win this. Absolutely no way at all. I have to have this thing ready at all times. That elixir, where's... Alright, come on, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's do this. Yeah. Come over here, buddy. Let's do this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get that balloon out of here. Night Witch, spawn your little bat babies and kill that thing. This game sucks.